A present for you in there? Yeah. It says Richard and Lorelai. Sorry, it's late. Enjoy Santa. You didn't get to hug Santa? Next time we see him, you can hug him. How about you open up the present? You gotta take your jacket and your boots off. Tear away. I see something in there. You see something in there. Lorelai, you gonna help? Mom, get the top. Get the top. You want me to get the top? Yeah. Okay, what is it? You think it's a car? Yeah. Are you sure? Mom, I really want to play with it. You do? You really want to play with it? Yeah. Okay. This is my best present ever. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I can't reach. You can't reach? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Is that the best day ever, Richard? Yeah. <laughs>
Let me go to the office. Yes. Do you want to show Daddy where you sit and stuff? I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, Mommy has to sign you up. Give it.
It's a scene that melts your heart, and this emotional homecoming happened at the Outagamie County Regional Airport just this afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. A couple that was serving in the U.S. Army in Afghanistan returned home to the surprise of their two children. Travis and Isla Ullman will be in northeast Wisconsin just for a couple of weeks. They're on leave. The couple had not seen their children since this past October. And as Fox 11's Ben Crumholt shows us tonight, the Omen's surprise visit intensified the emotion of their return. Yeah. <laughs> Travis and Asilla Ullman didn't tell their family they were returning from Afghanistan until a few hours before their arrival. We totally lied to everybody. We told them that we were coming home in December. The couple hoped to surprise their children, True and Tashaya. The children came to the airport thinking they were taking a tour with Boy Scouts. Oh, there's true. There's true. There's true. I was shocked. I didn't really know we were going to do anything. I thought it was just Scout's thing. It was a surprise. Words. Can't describe it. 
For Travis Allman, the break comes in the middle of his first deployment. For his wife, Asela, it is her second trip overseas. It's hard, but, you know, it's for a reason, so. The Allman's children say it's difficult having both parents away for so long. Scary and kind of frustrating because if you get in a bad mood, they're not there for you to, they're not there to cheer you up or anything. But now that their parents are back for two weeks, Tashaya and True have big plans. Hug them over and over, uh, and then I want to show them my room, and I want to bring them to school. So we're just going to go and take it day by day so we don't try to rush things and miss something, and we're just going to do whatever happens. In Greenville, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. The Almonds, who both grew up in the area, is their permanent active duty post right now, and home is near Anchorage, Alaska. And while they're serving overseas, the children are staying with a grandmother in Chi Octon. The Almonds say when they return to their para -jump, a parachute jumping unit in Afghanistan, they don't expect to be back home until again October. The Lawler family loves attending sporting events, but this time it's bittersweet because the family's biggest fan, Dad, isn't there. He's serving our country in Kosovo right now. And what's been the hardest part to not have him around the last few months? Well, I'm just getting used to not being able to give him a hug. This is the first Christmas the Lawler girls will spend without their dad. I really don't like it. And I wish you could just come home for the holidays. All I want for Christmas is to have him come back. What the girls don't know is that they're getting a gift early, but it won't fit underneath the tree. Dad, Sergeant Thomas Lawler, is home on leave. We're trying to make it pretty memorable for the, the kids. This is the first time I've been deployed overseas. He hasn't seen his family in more than three months. I'm ecstatic to be here right now. But upon his arrival at tonight's big bobcat game, his kids have no idea he's only feet away. Are you nervous? <laughs> Very nervous. He spends the first period of the game incognito, uh, getting ready for the big reveal. Okay. Is that too tight? Nope. Now, it's showtime. If you had a chance to make one Christmas wish come true, what would it be? Did you wish really hard? You think we could maybe make that happen? What do you think? Bully, could you help us? Love you guys. A wish come true for one family, reminding all of us the true meaning of Christmas. So shocked, but it's the best Christmas ever now. 
the best Christmas present I've ever had. With KX News, I'm Megan Lowry.